20 Best Things to Do in Florida Florida is one of the largest states in the U.S., and it is home to a wide range of ethnicities and cultures. Located between the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic Ocean, Florida is renowned for its amusement parks and offers the largest selection of zoos, aquariums, theme parks, and other family attractions in any of the United States. Florida also has an abundance of museums, art galleries, all kinds of restaurants and historical sites to offer visitors. But despite all its man-made wonders, Florida is also a spectacular place for nature lovers. Here are some of the top things to do in Florida. Number 20. Gatorland. Not all of the amusement parks in Florida are home to gigantic thrill rides and super laser and firework shows. Gatorland provides its thrills in a much more natural way, with hundreds of crocodiles and alligators. This park takes things back to basics with feeding shows without special effects and plenty of audience participation. Gatorland is a refreshing change to the other amusement parks in Florida, allowing the reptiles to do the impressive, which in turn results in a very reasonable entry fee. Number 19. Discovery Cove. Discovery Cove Orlando allows visitors to swim with dolphins, snorkel with manta ray and even walk along the sea floor and get up close and personal with a range of marine critters. The park offers a truly unique opportunity to see these animals from a unique perspective. As well as seawater creatures, there is also a large freshwater lagoon where guests can view a family of otters and feed tropical birds. Number 18. Amelia Island. Amelia Island is one of a chain of barrier islands stretching along the east coast of the United States known as the Sea Islands. It is about 4 miles wide at its widest point and 13 miles long. Easy to get to but hard to forget, Amelia Island has been recognized as one of the top 25 islands in the world for its natural beauty. Various outdoor activities, spas, dining and hotels accompany the island's 13 miles of unspoiled beaches. Number 17. Bush Gardens Tampa. Bush Gardens Tampa is an African-themed amusement park in Tampa. The park has several themed areas which are each named after a different part of Africa. A replica steam engine, the Serengeti Express, makes stops at several of the areas and the ski ride, an aerial tram, makes stops at three others. The park is famous for its roller coasters, which are located throughout the different park areas along with food and beverage options and shopping. Additionally, Bush Gardens also has many animal exhibits where visitors can view exciting animals up close, such as Asian elephants, alligators, cheetahs, and more. Number 16. Museum of Science and Discovery. Located in Fort Lauderdale, the museum is one of the largest in Florida and has the most annual visitors of any state in the U.S. The museum hosts exhibitions relevant to Florida such as how hurricanes work and information about the Everglades National Park. There are also nine cockpit simulators, allowing guests to test their flying abilities. Number 15. Coral Castle. This stone sculpture was built by one man, Edward Leedskalnin, between 1923 and 1951. The impressive feat saw Edward carving and shifting over 1,100 tons of stone single-handedly. Built during the night and under cover of darkness, nobody knows how the castle was created and Ed's methods are still debated by scientists and architects. The castle is open every day and the mystery surrounding the sculpture certainly makes it worth a visit. Number 14. Vizcaya Museum and Gardens. The Vizcaya Museum and Gardens is the former estate of farm machinery tycoon James Deering from the Deering McCormick International Harvester Company. It is located on Biscayne Bay in Miami. The architecture of the home is influenced by the Mediterranean Revival and Renaissance styles with some Baroque elements. The home has more than 70 rooms and is furnished with many European antiques, art, and furnishings from the 15th to the 19th century. Several tour options are available for visitors to see the home and grounds. The gardens surrounding the home have an area comprising Italian Renaissance formal gardens and the several acres of native forest can be explored by guests. Number 13. Wekiwa Springs State Park. This 7,000-acre state park is located about 20 minutes drive from Orlando. Paddling the Wekiwa River and taking a dip in the icy watering hole are both very satisfying experiences on a hot Florida day. 
primitive riverside camping is available and should be booked well in advance. There are also opportunities for kayaking and canoeing within the park as well as guided tours lasting for about 3 hours. Number 12. St. Augustine's Historic District. St. Augustine's District is one of the oldest settlements in Florida and is therefore a great place to see some beautiful architecture and interesting historic sites. The district is home to the oldest masonry fort in North America, the Castillo de San Marcos and the 19th century Flagler College. The site, which was built in the 17th century, is well preserved and for those with no interest in history, there are also fantastic views of the coast to be enjoyed. Number 11. Salvador Dali Museum. Located in St. Petersburg, the Salvador Dali Museum is housed in a suitably odd-looking building that somewhat resembles a glass sphere partially protruding from a box. The museum is dedicated to the work of surrealist artist Salvador Dali and houses the world's second-largest collection of his work. The museum offers a fascinating collection of Dali's work as well as a look at his life and is a great attraction for everyone, even those without a keen interest in art and sculpture. Number 10. Duval Street in Key West. Best known for its Caribbean charm and wonderfully restored old buildings, Duval Street is located at the end of the chain of Key West Islands. A simple walk down the street is free and a satisfying and memorable experience. The atmosphere is always buzzing at the many restaurants and bars that line the street and there are also many interesting shops to be found on the street. Number 9. Daytona 500. The Daytona 500 race is legendary and is widely regarded as one of the most important in the NASCAR Cup Series. The race is held at Daytona National Speedway and marks the start of racing season in February. Prior to the building of the Speedway in 1959, races were traditionally held on the sand of Daytona Beach. Number 8. Wonderworks. This upside-down building in Orlando is hard to miss inside the building is a mix between a children's museum, amusement arcade, and a theme park. The cool attractions include sitting inside a hurricane simulator, lying on a bed of nails and stomping on aliens invading Earth. This crazy, and rather unique, museum is found on the International Drive and, although certainly aimed at children, adults will find plenty to keep them entertained and amused. Number 7. Dry Tortugas National Park Dry Tortugas National Park is 100 square miles of open water which includes seven small islands. It is one of the more remote parks managed by the National Park Service and lies 70 miles west of Key West. There is no fresh water on the islands, which is why they are called the Dry Tortugas. The islands are home to the impressive Fort Jefferson, which is one of the largest 19th century American forts. Visitors can choose to spend the night either in the island's campgrounds or aboard a chartered yacht. The Dry Tortugas are a prime destination for snorkeling and diving due to the crystal clear water. Number 6. Miami Beach. When you think of Miami, chances are you think of a sandy beach with the sun shining. Miami Beach is the best area in Miami for soaking up some rays on a sandy beach and it is something of a legend in the city. The beach itself technically outside of the Miami municipality as it is located on an island. Aside from the beaches, the area is also known for its Art Deco district and the odd but beautiful buildings within. Number 5. Legoland, Florida. The second largest Legoland theme park in the world, second only to Windsor in the UK can be found in Winter Haven, Florida. Covering a massive 145 acres, the park is a LEGO fan's dream with over 50 LEGO-themed rides and a number of shows and other attractions. The park is designed for children under the age of 12 and includes many rides, shows, and attractions. The park is built on the site of a former botanical garden and has retained much of the original garden, so the grounds are very beautiful. The park features a water park and a factory tour attraction where inquisitive guests can learn about how Lego bricks are made. Number 4. Kennedy Space Center. The Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex is the visitor center for NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The center has a museum with exhibits, including historic space vehicles and various artifacts from the history of space travel. The complex features an IMAX movie theater and a launch simulator. There are also several options for bus tours of the Kennedy Spaceport. The Space Center has a special memorial called the Space Mirror, 
which honors astronauts who have lost their lives in the line of duty. The Apollo slash Saturn Center can be visited by bus from the Visitor's Center and includes exhibits related to the Apollo program, including a piece of moon rock and the replica of a lunar rover. Number 3. Universal Studios. Universal Studios Florida is an amusement park located in Orlando and one part of Universal Orlando Resort. The park features rides and attractions based on the movie and television industry. The center of the park is a large lagoon which is surrounded by six themed areas. Visitors to the park can experience elements from a variety of films in each of the areas. The rides use special effects to really bring the films to life while costumed characters roam the grounds for visitors to interact with. Additionally, Universal Studios is also a fully functioning production studio that has been used to film many movies, television shows, music videos, and events. Number 2. Everglades National Park Created in 1947 after petitioning environmentalists managed to convince the government that the area was something special, the Everglades is the second largest national park in the country, smaller only than Yellowstone. It consists of 1.5 million acres of subtropical marshes and swamp. The river here flows from Lake Okeechobee and provides the perfect environment for wildlife such as otters, turtles, crocodiles, and even panthers. The wet ecosystem in the park makes it great for wildlife spotting boat trips. Number 1. Disney World. Disney World is the most popular of all of Florida's tourist attractions. The giant amusement park offers a sample of the Disney magic that is adored worldwide. Disney World has something to offer adults as well as children and families. Thrill rides such as the legendary Space Mountain keep things interesting for grown UPS while kids have the chance to meet all their favorite Disney characters. With amazing parks, beautiful beaches, and so many more things to do, the Sunshine State offers a unique experience to remember for everyone. Enjoy your visit in Florida, and don't forget to subscribe for more things to do.